a few hours north of El Paso, this whimsical town known as the Land of Enchantment serves as a launch off point for a ton of area attractions. We finally made it to New Mexico and y'all, Upper Canyon Lodging Company, they hooked it up. I mean, it only makes sense to unplug and get in that rustic state of mind by staying in the proper cabin. But in this case, for us, we're staying in the treehouse. With over 100 options to choose from, whatever you need, Upper Canyon Lodging has accommodations no matter how big or small your party. Y'all, I love this place already, but we do have some exploring to do, so I'm gonna get dressed and we'll make our way. So I am in front of Inn of the Mountain Gods, New Mexico's premier casino and resort. And one of the cool things about New Mexico is the thriving Native American culture. In fact, both the casino and resort are owned and operated by the Mescalero Apache tribe, which helped transform Rio Doso into the destination spot it is today. A lot of the people think that this is just a building of uh, concrete, steel, you know, glass, that kind of thing, but it's not. When the tribal council decided that they wanted to build a new inn, they wanted elements about who we are as Apache people put into it. So for example, the circle drive when you come in, that's actually an example of a war shield off of Chief San Juan. If you come in the, the Grand Hall, the Great Hall, you'll look at it and the room gets bigger as you go. Yeah, I noticed that. Right, so that represents your childhood, your adulthood, your adulthood and your old age. We actually try to keep a simplistic kind of life, especially in our culture, and I think a lot of people are drawn to that. Laid back but luxurious, refined but rustic, Inn of the Mountain Guides really does have something for everyone, including a casino. Well, first of all, we're the southernmost table games in New Mexico. Uh, we have all kinds of games, new versions and old versions, some favorites of people. We also have a new enclave room where they can have their favorite adult beverage in there and play their favorite slot machine. Okay, so this place is popping right now and it seems like there's a lot of people that come in and out of this area. So how many people do y'all normally get on a regular basis? We can probably get about four to 5,000 people in, in, on any given day, just depending on what we have going on, the seasonality of it. And about 80% of our clientele is from Texas. Really? Yes. Okay, so we come to the right place. It, it's their home away from home. Thank you so much, cheers. Okay, okay, okay. I know I have an early call in the morning, but there's not a chance that I'm gonna pass up a good cocktail and some gambling. And I see Loteria, wish me good luck. <laughs> After a great introductory day of Rio Doso, it was time for me to stop while I was ahead. Woo, 73 cents, y'all. Yeah. And call it a night. Good morning, we have a full day ahead. We're actually heading to the ski resort to see what that's all about. I am actually dying to get up in the hills and spend some time with nature, but we gotta have a healthy breakfast first, right? The most important meal of the day is by far the first meal, which is why we're starting at Sacred Grounds. Just do a coffee of the day and the New Mexico Scrambler. Sounds delicious. Nestled in between the cool pines of the Sacramento Mountains, Sacred Grounds has everything you need to fuel up for the day. Oh my goodness, if I could start my morning off with this every day, happiest person ever. Oh, it's going in. And now that our stomachs were full, it was off to our next destination, Ski Apache. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Why are you heading to a ski resort when you can obviously tell that there's no snow on the ground? Well, it just so happens that there's plenty to do at Ski Apache, including some of the most epic zip lines in the entire world. Y'all, I'm so excited. <laughs> Located near Rio Doso in the Sierra Blanca Mountains, also owned and operated by the Mescalero Apache tribe, Ski Apache Wind Rider Zip Tour has the highest starting point in the entire world. 
Well, 11,500 feet, you know, it's where the world's highest zip line. The first span is a full mile. You know, you can actually speed up to 70, 65, you know, you can control it. Well, if uh, my zip line is anything like my driving, then I'll probably be going like 50 miles per hour. <laughs> it's, all, it's all up to you. Of course, safety is important here. So after a quick instructional, we are off to the skies. All right, so this is how it all works. We get into the gondola, we ride it all the way up 11,000 feet, and then we zip line down. Ah, I'm excited. And when you're hanging on a steel cable at 11,500 feet high, there really is no turning back. All ready, whenever you're all ready. Ah, 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 okay, three, two, yo! Right there, that was awesome. Ah! <laughs> I can't believe it was my job. <laughs>